Hello YouTube, this is Keith Shizuo Yu-Gi-Oh! Reviews and today we'll be reviewing the Topps Bubblegum Yu-Gi-Oh! 2 Bubblegums and 18 Mini Stickers Pack. I found these on eBay about two years ago, but unfortunately I lost this unpackaging footage until just recently, so only finally have I been able to get a video made of it. My apologies for the low definition camera. I've already opened the first pack, as you see here, and inside it was this lovely portrait sticker of the Blue Eyes White Dragon. Very strong start. And in the next two, which I'd already opened before shooting this, I got this Red Eyes Black Metal Dragon. Very good. All these stickers are numbered, by the way, so it makes it easier for collecting. And this Standard Red Eyes. So, big three dragons. Good start. Incidentally, the flavor of the gum in these packs is tutti frutti, but that's pretty irrelevant for anyone buying in these days, as I will get into in a moment. And in this stick was a nice Yugi Yami Yugi portrait. Sorry, just Yami Yugi, but unfortunately I was a bit too violent getting it out there, leading to me damaging it. Oh well. Inside each pack comes two of these 2x3 sticker sheets showing various characters and monsters from the anime, and sometimes both. Uh, and here's the other sheet containing Yugi, Pet and Dark Clown, Marek, and that one there is for you, Brayden. I know you love the Karibos. I apologize for this bad camera I had when I was filming this, but you can trust me when I say that these are very high quality prints on the stickers, as one would expect from these kind of products. And one more here with Yugi Teya. Nice inclusion of Drillaga there, it's one of the more obscure monsters, as well as Sexy Marek. And of course, one with Kaiba and Dark Magician Girl. Dark Magician Girl merchandise being very popular, as it always has been, especially since the Yu Gi Oh! YCS in Sydney recently with the Dark Magician Girl mat. Love it. <laughs> okay, now let's get around to actually opening one of these bad boys. The packets actually look pretty cool. I know if I was a kid back when these were actually in retail, I would have been over the moon to receive one of these. It looks pretty cool. And as we, I said before, inside of these contains two of these 2x3 sheets. Here's this one. We got, ooh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, Time Wizard. See, great, great artwork on this. You could really use this to decorate the old binders or the laptop or something like that. So yeah, very high quality. Ooh, Thousand Eyes Restraint. That's a good one. If you haven't already noticed, all these characters and monsters are from the Duelist Kingdom arc of the first season of the second anime. And here we have a nice character sheet. Now I believe with this character sheet I have rounded up all of the major characters, which is very good. And on top of those two six sheets you also come with this 2x2 two two sheet, which is slightly larger than the others, but the quality is no less. I am unsure of just how many stickers are in each set. And now we come around to opening up the other gums. Come on, let's get it stuck in there. What have we got? Now you'll see as I open this one, the gum actually shatters in my hand. It is quite brittle. This gum is cr isn't chewy, it is crunchy. You, this, it, it is foul. I tried a piece, it was not fun. <sighs> yeah, I know, I'm an idiot. Now this sticker is pretty interesting. Obviously some of these stickers were cut incorrectly and there wasn't strong enough QC for them to come out. So that may be a bummer for anyone going to collect these, but you know, some collectors actually like oddities like this. I certainly find it interesting, you know, you won't find them as often as the good ones. But then I realized as I put it down here that I actually got the cut off bottom half of the one I damaged earlier. So, yeah, I guess I could repair it if I wanted to, but I reckon that, like, the half that I got kind of works on its own. But yeah, that's a thing that happens, so be wary if you intend to collect. Now, just a quick look at what the actual wrapper of the gum looks like. It looks alright, nice rendition of the old Yu-Gi-Oh! logo there. Which I will promptly destroy, because I am a bit too hasty and trying to unwrap these. These are quite tightly wrapped, to be honest. I'm surprised the gum wasn't hermetically sealed and still good, like how tight some of these were. As you see, I had to destroy it to get it open, and the gun sh gum shattered once again. And we got a nice Joey there. Accidentally dropped it. And I don't know why I threw it like that. Here's a nice sticker. Just a back shot of the stickers. They all have this kind of monochrome Yugi and are individually numbered. 
and the same thing on the back of the fours. As I said before, I don't know how many are each set, but it should be a nice aid for collectors. This is the yield that I got from three packets of these. Nice set of stickers there. And now let's go for a little ride to have a little pan down. Whee! And as you see, this is a nice pan of all that we got in those three packs of Yu-Gi-Oh stickers. I'm quite pleased with them personally. I think I bought these for about a bit under $4 a piece two years ago on eBay. They are currently sold out though and can be a little difficult to find. But regardless, they're a nice little set to collect for. But now I have to work out what I'm going to do with all this disgusting 10 year old chewing gum. Okay guys, this has been it for this little review, and until next time, Keith Shizuo out.